Commercial jet flight as we know it today has been around for well over 50 years. That is an amazing span of time across which many new technologies, aircraft and even plane makers have arisen and made their names in the market, though some of them are no longer flying. People have flown on planes that are decades old and they would never know the difference. Sometimes old school is the best school and after having a look at this collection of the oldest commercial passenger planes still in service, it's hard to disagree. Here are, however, some of the oldest operating commercial jet aircrafts. Number 10 is Airbus A300 B4 of Mahan Airlines. Mahan Air is a privately owned Iranian airline based in Tehran, Iran. It operates domestic scheduled services and international flights in the Far East, Middle East, Central Asia and Europe. After nearly a decade, Mahan Air is flying the 747-400 again. She was stored at IKA until recently when Mahan Air decided to bring her back to the flight line. She, she has undergone a thorough check and new livery has been applied and she is now the sole airworthy 400 in Iran. She is more than 33 years old. Number 9 is De Havilland, Canada. Air Inuit has its headquarters in Quebec, Canada. It does domestic, charter and cargo services in various areas. The airline has been operating since 1978 after acquiring a single De Havilland Canada DHC-2 Beaver. Soon after, the company also purchased a DHC-3, a couple of twin otters and a single otter. By 1988, the company acquired De Havilland Canada DHC-8100, which is more affectionately known as the Dash 8. The plane model started with a prototype that flew for the first time in 1983 and it began to serve as part of Northern Air on October 23, 1984. The series had gone through a couple of variations by the time Air Inuit purchased the one it operates, which is likely why this aircraft has stood the test of time in the way that it has. Number 8 is Boeing 757-200 of Jet 2. Jet 2's Boeing 757-200 aircraft have been in the flight game since 1987. It wasn't always a part of the Jet 2 lineup as it was previously owned and operated by China's Civil Aviation Administration followed by China's Southern Airlines. Jet 2 obtained the aircraft in 2006. It is almost unreal how pristine the plane still looks, but Jet 2's seasonal operational style may have something to do with it. While the plane is not the oldest commercial flight of them all, it does have the honor of being the oldest registered in the UK. Jet 2 operates a low-cost commercial airline in the United Kingdom, which offers scheduled and charter flights. It stands as the third largest airline in the country, only losing out to EasyJet and British Airways. Number 7 is Boeing 757-200 of Delta Airlines. Though Delta Airlines obtained it in 1987, it would be almost impossible for you to tell its age when you stand there. Even Delta Airlines' internal pool would throw you out as a loop as it currently holds the honor of having the largest fleet of 757 aircraft in the world. Of course, the 757-200 is not the only model that comprises its collection as there are several Boeing variants to speak of. While the first ever 757-200 made its debut with Eastern Airlines in 1983, only Jet2 and Delta Airlines managed to hold on to two of the eldest deliveries. The plane has two different variants. One has a certified maximum capacity of 239 and the other has a maximum of 224 thanks to the presence of the overing emergency exits. Its maximum takeoff weight is 255,000 pounds and it thrives best along short and medium length routes. Number 6 is Boeing 767-200 of Eastern Airlines. Eastern Airlines was once a major contender in the commercial flight market. The company's run in the industry began in 1920. The industry began in 1926 and ended in 1991. Today, the Eastern Airlines name continues, albeit under a different organization. Dynamic International Airways, founded in 2010, has rebranded itself to Eastern Airlines after obtaining the required intellectual property license from Swift Air. The license was also paired with the lease is of two aircraft. The Boeing 767-200 is the narrowest wide-bodied aircraft to be in service and it launched with four different variants which range from short and medium-range passenger types to military and large cargo types. The model's deliveries continued for a very long time considering that Continental Airlines got one in 2001. Number 5 is Airbus A300B2 of Iran Air. Iran Air, which is branded as Iran's flagship airline, is headquartered in Tehran at the Marabad Airport. It currently provides services to over 71 destinations in Europe and Asia. 
The airline is affectionately referred as Homa in its home country, which is a reference to a mythical Persian griffin. Its fleet size currently consists of 41 different planes, and the company was founded in 1944 as Iran Airways Company, and it began its operations as Iran Air in 1961. Many planes have come and gone throughout its operation, but one Airbus A300B2 that was delivered in 1980 continues to take to the skies. Airbus manufactured this model from 1971 to 1990, and it attracted a price of US $17.5 million. This one, owned by Iran Air, has the distinction of being the oldest Airbus in operation. Number 4 is Boeing 737-200 of Air Inuit. Air Inuit's longest-serving Boeing 737-200 has been active for over four decades. Its model number is B737-2S2C, and it has a loadout of 112 seats. Its statistics are very impressive, which makes you wonder where the years are going. There are months in which the plane completes more than 49 flights and it manages to keep its delay percentage incredibly low. While Air Inuit has another aircraft on this list, this one has the distinction of being the eldest in the fleet. Considering the company was founded in November 1978, the standout plane is the first that the airline has ever acquired. Other members of the fleet include Beechcraft King Air 100 series variants, Hawker Siddeley HS74828 series planes, several de Havilland Canada 8s, and more. Number 3 is Boeing 737 200 of Venezolana. Venezolana Airlines has also a Boeing 737-200 that has been serving for a very long time. Its registration is YV-502T and it has been with the company since 1978. It even survived a tragedy in May 2019. This was a flight from Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago to Caracas, Venezuela. As the aircraft was ascending, the left engine failed and the crew heard a loud bang. The skillful team declared an emergency and managed to safely land in Port of Spain about 20 minutes after the initial departure. The plight resulted in an engine fire which would necessitate repairs after being put out. The fuselage also suffered some minor damage. The plane's first flight was on March 31, 1978, where it served under Frontier Airlines. It then became a part of the United Airlines team in 1985. Number 2 is Boeing 747-200 of Caspian Airlines. This plane edges out the one from Venezuelana Airlines by a very small, very small margin. While that one took flight for the first time on March 31, 1978, this one did so on February 27 of the same year. The aircraft with registration EPCQA has been through a few hands. It began by serving as a part of the Iran Air Force, and in November 1980, it was leased to Iran Air until it was returned to the Air Force in January 1983. Iran Air leased it again in June 1984 and returned it to the Air Force in June of 1987. Iran Air would lease it one final time in August 1990 before Sahe Airline acquired it in July 1996. Saha Air stored the plane in 2008 before passing it on to its current owner, Caspian Airlines, in November 2018. With all that movement, it's most surprising that the plane performs as well as it does today. The top spot goes to none other than Canadian operator Nolinor Aviation for its Boeing 737-200. Its current registration is GGNLK, and the company had it delivered in 2014. However, it was manufactured in 1974 and throughout 1975 and onwards, it has had 12 different owners. The first of these was Transavia. People often wonder why airline operators choose to have such aged units in their fleet, especially since they are often delivered very late in their life cycle. Nolinor Aviation explained that the 737-200 could handle more difficult conditions than other planes can. For example, the first 737 generation can land on a narrow runway, ice strip, or gravel strip. Contrary to most newer planes, the 737-200 is equipped with a low-bypass turbofan engine. Boeing 737-200 of Nolanor Aviation is the oldest active airplane with almost 50 years of service. And that, guys, was the list of the oldest operating commercial jet aircrafts. With this, we're signing off for today. Bye-bye.